everybody, it's Tara and this is How Tuesdays. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a four square page for your business that doesn't have a physical location. So a brand page basically. And why you would do this? Well, you can set up really cool city guides and lists of really great applicable businesses for your followers. A great example of this is Ask Men. They're a publication that does men's advice. They have all these great city guides. They've created this great guide of all of the places that you could go. So think about this if you're like a, like a health business, a fitness instructor, that sort of thing. You can set up guides for each city based on the healthy restaurants you can go to and the fitness clubs and health food stores and that sort of you thing. You need to go to business.foursquare.com uh, slash brands. There's a big orange button here, pretty easy. You launch a page. You can create your page on Foursquare here by uh, signing in with Twitter. Now make sure in your other tab that uh, you are already signed into your brand page on Twitter so that it doesn't attach to your personal page. It'll automatically give you uh, foursquare.com slash whatever your Twitter name is as well. So there's no real choice there. So make sure that you have a Twitter handle that you want to also have on your Foursquare page. And all you need to do is say, create a page, authorize app, uh, pulls in your logo, pulls in your name. You can put in your description. You can upload a banner. You can also add your Facebook page to it. So you just click that. Um, I can link my Facebook page to it pretty simply. So once you get everything set up, you create your banner. Uh, it has to be 860 by 130 pixels. Save that. And all you need to do is click on your logo on the top and you can manage your brand on Foursquare. So you can go back and edit that profile, uh, leave tips, create lists, and see engagement stats. stats. So Creating lists is much like creating a list on your own profile. You just say create new list, breakfast spots in Toronto. As you guys know, I love breakfast. You can add, you know, a description here. Then you add your spaces. So Mitzi's Cafe, which I already put in uh, before, Choco Crepe. Another one of my favorites. Now when you put these in, you can add a photo from other people's check-ins here. So I'm going to pick that one because it's really yummy looking. You can add a tip for this place. The potatoes that are life-changing. So we're going to save that tip. So now when people check in to Mitzi's Cafe, they might get my tip and see lime Foundry, my business, my brand, come up. It can be a really super tool. Not a lot of brands are using it and they're not using it, you know, super well. Um, so this is a really great opportunity for you to make an impact in your local market, especially if your business, say you're a personal trainer or you're a fashion designer or the like, um, also has a local presence. Thanks and enjoy. Mm -hmm.